Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series by Biogenesis and I am Vishal Koshik. Today we will be discussing about some of the trickiest numericals based on the topic of genetic code. Now everybody is familiar with the concept of genetic code and their universal important features. Genetic code actually gives us the set of information that what nucleotide sequence of mRNA will result in a particular peptide sequence of a particular protein, right? The particular amino acid sequence. The uh, mRNA is always read by the uh, ribosomal subunits, the large and the small subunits and always from 5' to 3' direction and the protein is always synthesized from N-terminus to C-terminus. The main aim of this lecture is to discuss numericals. There will be separate lectures based on the basic concepts of the genetic code later on. Now, the most important thing Concept number one, which is very important to solve few numericals, that genetic code is triplet in nature. Now, what do we mean by triplet? The meaning is that the nucleotide sequence which is written on the mRNA, when it is being read by the ribosome, those nucleotides or ribonucleotides, they are always read in a set of three nucleotides, which is called as colon. Everybody is familiar with that concept that a set of three nucleotides which is read on the mRNA by ribosome is known as a particular codon. Now, each codon can code for a particular amino acid. You must have a detailed and important information that genetic code is universal in nature, applies to all organisms, triplet in nature that each set of three nucleotides is one codon which can code for one particular amino acid, right? Like AUG for methylene, triple U for phenylene, and triple G for glycine, although there are n number of exceptions that we will be discussing later on, but I am just focusing on the numerical aspect. Now, total number of possible codon, how 64 codons have been calculated. Now, those total 64 codons they have been calculated based on a formula called as 4 to the power 3. Everybody has read a basic concept that total 64 codons are there. Now, how those 64 codons are there? 4 to the power 3. Now, what does the base indicate and what does this power indicate? That will be very important to solve the upcoming numerical. The base represents that we have four possible choices of ribonucleotide. It can be either A, U, C, or G. Raised to the power of 3 indicate that as per the rules laid by the genetic scientist or genetic code which was being given earlier, the rule was fixed that each codon should consist of three letter word or three nucleotide. So it's 4 raised to the power of 3, which is 64 codon. So let us now discuss a very brief numerical that sometimes a question can be asked. Is suppose if the genetic code was quartet instead of triplet. Suppose, let's say it is triplet actually and they are asking you a hypothetical question. So what if it was a quartet? What do you mean by quartet? That instead of three letter, one codon is made up of four letter code. Right? They are asking you to assume this information. Ki agar aapka genetic code triplet na hokar quartet hota, to kitre total codons possible ho sakte? One possible question also in neat examination or medical examinations. Now, you are clear that base will always remain same, which is 4 over here. Only the power has to change because they have asked you key 4, group of 4 nucleotide would constitute a codon. So 4 raised to the power 4, 4 will remain same because 4 nucleotide A, U, G, C. This can never change. This is a constant thing. So 4 raised to the power 4, which is 256, obtained as the final answer. Now, coming on to the next set of information, that is concept number 2. In concept number 2 is also going to help you in a very important numerical, which will be the type of questions of genetic code. Now, genetic code is degenerate in nature. I am mean, focusing on those parts of features of genetic code which are important for numerical. Genetic code lectures in detail will be separate. So, degenerate in nature meaning one amino acid can be encoded by no one protein. Initially, when genetic code was discovered, we used to think that uh, the genetic code, in as per the genetic code, one codon will specify one amino acid, but it was not actually so. It was later on found that genetic code was degenerate. That is, X is other codon, or more than one codon can also code for a particular amino acid or a same amino acid. And such codons which code for any different codons which code for same amino acid, they are given a special word called as synonymous codons, right? Now, this table written over here is going to help you in solving a very important numerical. This has to be learned, and this is extremely important for all set of examination CSI, DBT, NEET, as per state examination. Now, I have listed the name of amino acid and how many number of synonymous codons are there as per the information from genetic code. 
तो आपका पूरा जेनेटिक कोड याद नहीं रखना ये टेबल से लेकर केमिकल टाइप टू को जाएगा ल्यूसिन सेलिन आर्जिन दे हैव हाउ मेनी सोनोमर्स कॉलम 6 आइसोल्यूसिन हैज हाउ मेनी 3 मेथिल एंड ट्रिप्टोफेन 1 ग्लाइसिन प्रोलीन एल्बुमिन वैलिन एंड थेरेलिन 4 एंड रेस्ट एनी अदर नेम आई मीन ऑल अमीनो एसिड व्हिच फॉल फ्रॉम ऑल दीस अदर कैटेगरीज दे हैव हाउ मेनी टू मेन नाउ लेट मी गिव यू अ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन और ब्रीफ क्वेश्चन to help you understand what is the application of this concept of synonymous code so what application we are going to learn is there can be a very simple question in examination and what is that question they will give you a peptide let's say they will give you a peptide sequence from n terminal to c terminal let's say you have first one you have maybe written like this you see maybe methyl written like that or let's say maybe isoleucine a very small example So they have given you that there is a protein having this particular sequence. How many possible nucleotide sequences can code for this particular protein? Right? Or let's say how many different environments? How many? How many different environment can code for this sequence? Can code for this peptide or this particular peptide sequence? You don't have to do anything. There is a simple fund up which is applicable over here. That the final answer which has to be obtained in this case simply multiply the number of synonymous codons which are available for each particular amino acid as per this particular table. So your final answer will be you see how many possibilities are there? Six sequences can be there which can go for you see. Multiply it by methylene is one possibility only one sequence. Multiply by isoleucine as per your table it is three. So six multiplied by one multiplied by three means there are eighteen different sequences which can code for this same peptide. And this is basically due to the presence of synonymous codon. I hope that makes sense. Now we are gradually going to move on to a slightly enhanced level of numerical. So here that the numericals are basic part B C S I or medical entrances coming on to the higher level of the numericals. So now the next set of numericals that we are going to understand. They are basically based on the same principle of uh, probability rule, and that will be an important numerical to understand for the examination. Now I am discussing the questions in front of you. So the first question, which is uh, being represented in front of you, it says that in a heteropolymer experiment using one by two C is to one by four A is to one by four G, how many different triplets will occur in the synthetic RNA molecule? And how often will most frequent triplet occur? Let us read this question. What information are they trying to tell us? Now the information that is being represented in front of us, they have given us a possibility. Right? What is the possibility that they have given to us? That you are working on a heteropolymer experiment. Heteropolymer experiment meaning you are you have a test tube, you have every ability to you are given all the enzymes, ribosome system to synthesize the protein. This is called a self self free protein. तो मैं डिस्कस इन जेनेटिक कोड डेटा हूं तो आपने एक टेस्ट ट्यूब में आपने न्यूक्लियोटाइड का मिक्सचर राइबोन्यूक्लियोटाइड का मिक्सचर प्रोवाइड कर दिया है यू हैव गिवन ऑल द नेसेसरी एंजाइम व्हिच कैन बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एंड व्हाट दे हैव गिवन यू द रूल इज सेइंग 1/2c 1/4a 1/4g एंड दिस इज द रूल दैट दे हैव गिवन मीनिंग न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स व्हिच आर राइबोन्यूक्लियोटाइड व्हिच आर बीन सेपरेट बाय यू दे आर बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोपोर्शन सो दैट 50% ऑफ टोटल न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स आर वोट सी 25% are what a another 25% are what g right now the most important thing question number 1 that they were asking how many different triplets right so how many dif different triplets now this can be easily answered do you remember that uh, 4 raised to the power 364 why was the base 4 because four nucleotides were available but here they have only given you three nucleotides the four nucleotides are same that means the answer in this case would be 3 to the power 3 which is going to be 27 this is as simple as that earlier it was the four to the power 3 because four nucleotide were available abhi aapko diya hi unhone test tube mein kitna hai three nucleotide system and jo kar rahe hain wahi se karna hai so three is the base and raised to the power 3 because they did not say anything about any nature changing triplet hai to triplet hai that is the basic thing which we show Now the next set of question that we are going to understand. इसी में how often 
विल बी मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट ट्रिपलेट अगर ये पूछना चाहते हैं कि सबसे कॉमन ट्रिपलेट की जो कॉम्बिनेशन न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स असेंबल हुए और आपका कोडोन सिस्टम बनेंगे सो इन न्यूक्लियोटाइड में से सबसे ज्यादा फ्रीक्वेंटली मिलने वाला ट्रिपलेट क्या होगा आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द मैक्सिमम प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ द न्यूक्लियोटाइड इज 50% इन केस ऑफ सी इसका मतलब आई कैन टेल यू दैट द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट ट्रिपलेट मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट ट्रिपलेट जो बनने की संभावना है मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट ट्रिपलेट और पॉसिबिलिटी इट कैन बी सी ट्रिपल सी बिकॉज सी आर हाइएस्ट इन प्रोपोर्शन इफ देर आर हंड्रेड न्यूक्लियोटाइड फिफ्टी न्यूक्लियोटाइड उसमें से आपका सी ही है तो ट्रिपल सी बनने का जो कॉम्बिनेशन है वो सबसे हाइएस्ट प्रोबेबिलिटी पर है नाउ ट्रिपल सी इज द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट ट्रिपलेट एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दे आर ऑल्सो आस्किंग दस कि कितना फ्रीक्वेंटली मिलेगा इसके मिलने की प्रोबेबिलिटी क्या है वॉट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी of finding this particular triplet so what are the probability that you can find this particular triplet in your test tube itself so what can be the probability individual letter ka nikalne mein tell kar dijiye that is 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 which is going to be what by finish i hope that makes sense to everyone so question was quite simple they had told you a uh, hydropolymer experiment how many triplets are possible total 27 most frequent triplet kya hogi ट्रिपल सी और उसकी मिलने का प्रोबेबिलिटी क्या होगा दैट्स क्लियर वन बाय 8 फ्रंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस नाउ लेट अस कम टू द टाइप 2 क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज अनदर सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ऑन जेनेटिक कोड नाउ अनदर क्वेश्चन विल अपीयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू दैट क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव ओवर हियर व्हिच इज रिटन क्लियरली ओवर हियर द क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 सेज क्रिएट सिंथेटिक पॉलीहाइड्रोन्यूक्लियोटाइड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम अ मिक्सचर कंटेनिंग ए इज टू सी 5 is to 1. Find out the relative frequencies of the following triplet. आपने एक फिर से एक एक्सपेरिमेंट किया। आपने उस एक्सपेरिमेंट में इस बारे दो ही न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स यूज़ किए हैं, A and C, और उनका रिलेटिव प्रोपोर्शन क्या दिया है? 5 is to 1. पूछना चाहते हैं कि इनमें से दिए हुए न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स हैं, इनमें से दिए हुए ट्रिपलेट्स का क्या प्रोबेबिलिटी होगा? उस क्वेश्चन को भी हम यहाँ पर सिंपल कदम कर सकते हैं। Now most important thing, let us come to the explanation for this particular thing. What they are saying? कि आपको a is to c जो प्रोवाइड किया है उन्होंने 5 is to 1 के रेशो पर प्रोवाइड किया है ये बात समझ आती है तो एक चीज यहाँ पर जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है कि a का जो प्रोबेबिलिटी है न्यूक्लियोटाइड मिक्सचर का वो कितना हो गया 5 by 6 और c का कितना हो गया प्रोबेबिलिटी पूरे मिक्सचर में 1 by 6 मतलब उसका प्रोपोर्शन तो आज तक की रेशो a का प्रोपोर्शन कित C का प्रोपोर्शन कितना है? It's one by six clearly written. Now question is simple. It's exactly finished now. वो आपसे पूछना चाहते हैं कि क्या possibility है? That what will be the probability of finding a triplet which has this particular sequence A A C? That is as simple as that. Five by six multiplied by five by six multiplied by one by six. You can simply finish off this question, which is going to be twenty five by two one six. Let's come to the question number two. What are the sequence probability of finding ACA? So ACA में आपके पास क्या है? Five by six into one by six into five by six. Once again comes out to be twenty five by two one six. And option number three, ACC. That is five by six into one by six into one by six, which is going to be five by two one six. And this is a question finished. So this is the different types of numericals which have been asked in several examination in related to genetic code. No question has been outside this concept. एक आपको synonymous बनाओ concept, other you have to apply the concepts of probability. That's all for today. We'll be soon continuing with the basic important features of the genetic code. Thank you and have a good day.